Right, we've got some more work to do on brackets here. And what what we'll do is then we've got two sets of brackets like this. Is we multiply everything in the first bracket by everything in the second bracket. So we can pause the video and have a go at this example if you like. And I'll work it out now. So we'll do x by x. We get x squared. X times 2, I get 2x. X times 3, 3x. And 2 times 3, 6. These x are simplified, so that's equal to x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now, when we're, he has about, about square in a bracket here. If I'm squaring a bracket, I mean I multiply the bracket by the bracket. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean I square that term and square that term. That's wrong. That's a common mistake that people make. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply these out. And doing it the quick way, I get that, and I'll show you that in a later video but you can use it do it the long way and you'll see that that's right so now to calculate this I can do x plus 3 times x squared plus 6x plus 9 because if it's the power of 3 it just means I've got another bracket of x plus 3 and this one here was x plus 3 squared Right, so let us expand this. I get x cubed. I get x times 6x is 6x squared. x times 9 is plus is 9x. 3 times x squared is 3x squared. 3 times 6x is 18x. And 3 times 9 is 27. And we can simplify this by combining these like terms. I get 9x squared, because I've got a 6x squared and a 3x squared. I've got a 9x and an 18x, that's 27x plus the 27. So x plus 3 cubed comes out to be that. Okay. Now, here you know, we've got more than one set of brackets. We've got brackets that are more in the expression, like these are brackets within brackets here. And what we do is we start with the inner brackets first and we work to the outer brackets. So you can have a go at these examples if you like by just pausing the video. And I'm going to work them out now. So what I do here is I'd start with these but in our brackets first. I'd multiply these out. So I'm getting rid of this one and this one. So I get 6x plus 12. And then this one here I get minus 5x squared. Minus 35. Now I can combine these two like terms and I'm going to bring the minus 5x squared to the front here and this here comes to minus 27 and now we just need to get rid of these this bucket, so I'm going to multiply everything by this x to the 3. So I'll get minus 5x to the 5 plus 6x to the 4 minus 27x cubed. So that is what answer this problem. Now, here's the last problem here. And what I'm going to do is first I'm going to work with these brackets, this one inside. So all the rest of them I'm going to leave alone. So 
So let's see, I get minus 2a. And the minus times minus b is plus b. So then I've got that. And then I'm going to deal with this bracket, because this is the next inner bracket. So this one's going to come next. So I'm just multiplying this out. As I'm sure you would understand. So we go. We've multiplied all this out. I can combine some terms in here. So let's do that. Let's see which ones will combine. These ones here will combine, sorry. So now I'll have 20a, 20a cubed. Minus 4a squared. I've got a plus 2ab Yeah. I've got a minus 2ab squared. I can't combine them because the b's are different. And now in the last step I just multiply this out. So I get 100a to the 4 minus 20 20a to the 3 plus 10a squared b minus 10a squared b squared minus 30a and then we can look to see if any of these combine and we've got no like terms so these don't combine and this will be what answer so what answer is this There's the answer. So with brackets we'll do the inner brackets first and work out to the outer brackets and when we've got two brackets like this we'll multiply everything in the first by everything in the second.